Welcome back to the channel. Back at Simeone Museum, looking at some of the old school American cars here. We've got a Corvette Stingray right in front of us, the 427 Stingray 66, the first year for the big block, I believe, which was underrated at 425 horsepower. You had a couple versions of this engine. You had the, the Tri Power, I believe, you had the L88 that came later. But if you want to pause it, go ahead and pause it to read this plaque right here telling you a little bit about the car. It's four barrel carb, four wheel independent suspension, four wheel disc brakes. Not many cars had four wheel disc brakes in the mid 1960s. Love the side exhaust. The hood bulge and the side exhaust were, I believe, two indicators of the big block on the C2 Corvette as well as the C3 Corvette. Love this color. I don't think I've ever seen another Stingray in this color. Comment below if you know the name of this color. And here we have a 1953 Studebaker. It's red. It's got the big, fat, white wall tires. Pretty cool car. Two-door coupe. Take a look. Go ahead and pause this if you want to look at this. 120 horsepower. Overhead valve V8. Two-barrel carb. Pretty cool car. A unique uh, rear window there. And we've got tons of stuff. We've got a uh, Corvette, uh, Corvette Grand Sport. We've got a Gullwing, one of two Gullwings in their collection. A Superbird in vitamin C orange. Pretty wild car. And I guess, unfortunately, a couple of these got hit hard in Naples, Florida by the hurricane damage. I saw a picture. You guys probably saw the picture too where one of them was flipped upside down. So here we go. 1970 Superbird. Go ahead and pause if you like. Uh, 440, 440 V8, 375 horsepower. Richard Petty won a bunch of races with his car and race trim at NASCAR. And that wing was really big for, for its day. It's still a huge wing. It's a big car. I like the black roof with it. We've got the pistol grip. I think that's called the pistol grip shifter there. 15 inch wheels. Pretty cool. So this is the Corvette Grand Sport, but it's like an extra body, I believe. We'll look at the plaque here in a second. And they have the original uh, Roadster Grand Sport, and there are only less than a handful of these made. Only maybe, only a couple of Roadsters, I believe. I do have that in one of my other videos, so go check that out. And this is like there's just the shell, I believe. You can see the side exhaust, the Goodyear tires, the wooden steering wheel, old school racing seats with those those three point harnesses. Lots of fun stuff. Got the old school roll bar. Very lightweight car. Very lightweight car. And these came with the big blocks, and they also came with. Was it a 383 V8? No, they came with the smaller V8. They came with the 427, but this was actually pre, I, I believe pre Big Block because it was 1963. So comment below if you if you know, I can't quite remember. We've got a C4 on top of that. The C4 was the Corvette when I was in high school when I was 16 and got my license. Got this active uh, functional hood vents there. Here we go. Okay, so 63, a replica, just the body, done in Duntov blue. And the white car is the car on the other side of the museum. Here's the motor, and I don't believe it's an L88. I believe this is before the L88s. Comment below if you know anything about this motor. Headers look pretty cool. I think it's just a spare motor, a spare. Uh, Spare big block. Right here on the engine stand. And here we go. Look at this thing. One of two gull wings in the Simeone collection. This one's in black. This is the only one I've seen in black. They have a silver one. Um, it's 1955. They only made roughly a thousand of these. 3.0 V6, 200, roughly 200 horse, 200, 220 horsepower. Um, the gull wing is actually the name of the doors that go up and when they're up in position. 
We'll take a look at the plaque here in a second. You can see how I, iconic this car is. And it really looks classy in black. Black with the chrome bumpers. Here's another look. Let's look at the plaque. Go ahead and pause if you like. Three liter, 215 horsepower, only 2,560 pounds. Great car. What a fantastic car. And the dash, the inside, I wish I could show you the inside on this, but the inside, I tell you, it is beautiful. It's one of the best looking dashes, I believe, in Mercedes-Benz history, if not all of automotive history. So many cars took styling cues from this. This is such an iconic vehicle. It's one of my favorite classic cars. I can't believe that it's roughly 70 years old, 68, 69 years old. And right here we've got a Jag, a Jag, a 50, 50, 1953 Jaguar. We'll take a look at this. It's a fixed head coupe. I love the red interior, the black with the red interior, a little over 3,000 pounds. Inline six, 160 horse, cast iron block, carb, of course, four speed manual. Probably a lot of fun to drive. Looks wonderful with the black and the red interior. That's just a great combination. Another car that I have never seen and I don't know much about, but happy to check out here at the Simeone. So what are you taking? The Jag, the Mercedes, the Corvette body, Superbird, Studebaker, or the Stingray? I'm going Gullwing. I mean, that Gullwing is something else. But I think the Corvette has the coolest engine, in, in my opinion, the 427 Chevy. That's the engine I would take. Good looking headlights on that. Well, we're about out of time, so stay tuned. We're gonna check out the other sections of the Simeone Museum here in Philadelphia over the next couple of videos. Like and subscribe. See you guys soon.